everybody, welcome to an Epic Mighty and Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again with another Unrivaled Collection AEW Series Number 3 review. We are featuring our second set of Young Buck figures. we got Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson. Of course, they were in Series 1. It's kind of ridiculous that they turned them over and got them in Series 3, but I guess because of the skin tone deal, I'm not sure. I guess because they're popular, you know, they're going to be the, the John Cena or, or the Roman Reigns of the set where they're just churning them out. I'm sure that John Moxley, Jerry, Jericho and Kenny Omega will probably be in that same boat. Hopefully Omega because we, we got to get the updated skin tone in here, but I'm excited for these Bucks. I like the attires better on these. I like the tassels. This is our first tassel attire for the Bucks and you know that that's what they're notorious for so we love to see it, but Matt and Nick Jackson are right here guys and I'm excited to get into it. You have your front viewing window doing the exact same pose they did in their first figures. On the side you got their names Nick and Matt right there. On the back you have both of their signatures as well as images of the men. Both sets of the waves there. This is from AEW Dynamite. I could have swore they, they wore these on pay-per-view, but that was probably a while back. These are attires that people have been making customs of for years, so I'm sure they've worn that before as well. You got the AEW logo on the side, and then you got the beautiful images of Matt and Nick Jackson right there, guys. But that pretty much does it, guys. If you would like to pre-order these, you can do so over at WrestlingFigures.com. Ringside Collectibles, go over there, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Again, they're not in stock, but if you pre-order them, as soon as they come in stock, they will be shipped out. So go ahead, put in your order. That way you don't miss out on these guys as soon as they get the thing because I feel like with AEW figures man once they're gone they're going to be gone it's going to be hard to track those down so I'd put in my pre-order especially if you want these really really badly but let's shut the hell up and crack Matt and Nick out of their football packaging so here are the Bucks of Youth out of the packaging. Guys, I'm actually pretty impressed with what we got going on. We got a lot of new stuff going on. Some some repetitive stuff, but some new stuff going on. And I think if you were to compare these, which we are, we are going to compare these, but I think if you put these up next to their Series 1 figures, I think we're going to be blown away by the differences and the things we got going on here, guys. But since they are a tag team, they go hand in hand. They're pretty much the same except for different head sculpts. We're going to cover these guys at the same time. We're not going to split up and do all that. We're going to literally look at their their accessories together. Look at both figures today, Junior. We're going to look at the figures themselves together. We're also going to do the comparisons together. That way we can compare them to the Series 1. We'll do the torso swap with the Series 1 to see how these torsos and stuff look like on the Series 1. So if you guys want to do that torso swap with their, you know, their white Elvis attires and everything like that, you will be able to do so. But let's shut the hell up and dive into Matt and Nick Jackson's accessories. Alright guys, so getting into Matt and Nick Jackson's accessories, they come with the exact same rubber entrance vest slash jacket. As you guys can see right here, they give you two of them. So I'm just going to take a look at the one just because it's the exact same. Like there are literally no differences. I did my inspections and everything unless I just missed it and it's just the weirdest thing ever. They are the exact same. But you guys can see here you got the black and gold zebra print on the collar which I really like. You got the elite logo here. Gold zipper. You got your frilly stuff. You got the gold elite on the back and then it does hook on the side right here. So it's kind of like what we get from Mattel. But I will say these are a bit flimsy. Like, honestly, I don't know. If I put this back on the figure and I tried to snap it back together, I don't know how well that would go. Like, I've actually noticed that, you know, while it's good that they make it this softer rubber material, trying to clasp that back together is going to be really, really interesting. And they only did it on one side, so it is kind of difficult to get off of the figure. Honestly, I think I would have just, I, I mean, I know it's not accurate because they, they did have it zipped in the front, but having it unzipped and having it, you know, easily removable probably would have been just as good. You could have got the same effect. But Maybe what they could have done is maybe unclasp it in the middle, you know, made it in the middle. That way you would unclasp it in the middle and then slide it off like a regular vest instead of doing it on the side because I find it really difficult to not only get off the figure, it is softer. So again, it stretches and it's not as hard as like a stiff rubber and it doesn't feel like you're going to break the figure or anything. It's just kind of awkward getting it off, but it is rubber. It's not something I'll probably use unless I cut it in the middle right here, but if I cut it in the middle there, it's going to unclasp there and it's just going to be a big nightmare. That rhymed, unintentional. Or I could just like super glue this and then cut it in the middle and then have it as vests. I don't know. I, I probably won't use them. All right, guys, so let's dive into Matt and Nick Jackson. Starting out with the head sculpts. Let's go ahead and dive into Nick Jackson, guys. So for this head sculpt, you know, I'm not hating it completely. It's not completely awful. I think it's a bit awkward. I think I do like it slightly better than the grimacing face we got with the Series 1 figure, but I like the black headband going on with the gold elite over the top. I like the ponytail and everything like that. I feel like it is kind of weird how it flattens right here, but his hair kind of does that. It doesn't really stay together. It is kind of like a wavy-ish, you know, style, so I, I can appreciate that right there. The skin tone definitely 
definitely looks better than their Series 1. We will do a comparison of that, of course, but it's the same torso we got with that. The white wrist tape looks good. I can't get over how good the skin tone looks compared to that Series 1, which again, we are going to compare to make sure and, you know, to see how you guys can, you know, get that in your head and get that visual. So if you guys want to purchase these over the Series 1, I can already tell you that I recommend these over the Series 1. I just like the attire better. I like the skin tone better. Uh, head sculpts, I don't know, you know, that's kind of up for debate, but got the nice belt sculpt going on. You got the studs on the belt in the black and silver. You got the nice blue paint, the white and the gold going all the way around. You got the gold Elite logo there with the black. And then, um, yeah, I mean, I have seen many people make customs of these attires and they always look really, really good. So having these officially from Jazzwares is really, really sick. Going down, this is very interesting. You, you guys know that with Mattel and stuff, we're really used to having molded or rubber or whatever tassels on our Tyler Breeze, on our John Morrison's, on our Buck Customs. But now we have official tassels or, you know, what would you call these? They're tassels, but they're fringe, you know? And these are actually like little mini ropes kind of in the gold, blue, and white with the white undercarry there. And it looks good. I like it. It's got even a stretch band right there. And one thing that's very interesting is that he this lower leg actually articulates right there. So you not only get, you know, your foot articulation, but you can also spin this unlike you could on the uh, their old figures. So you can actually turn this right here. So if I pull this up, it'll kind of look like George Washington right there. Shout out to him. But they used Cody Rhodes boots. As you guys can see, they have the little buckles on the inside right there for Cody Rhodes boots. And the uh, the feet are just molded in black. And then they have the blue and white going down the side right there. So the tassels look good and everything. I like the way they did that. I think that's excellent. They look really good. I mean, if I had one complaint, maybe, you know, the glitter does come off on your hands and stuff when you're handling these. So maybe that's just out of the packaging. That's what they do. But I like this. I actually like it a lot. And I think they improved their feet. I don't think these are the same feet that came on their first figures. I think they used Kenny Omega feet on their first figure. And on these, they used the Cody Rhodes boots. So they stand a lot better and they feel a lot better. So there's that. So there's the Nick figure. And then getting into Matt, guys, he is the exact same except uh, poor, poor Nick. I was just talking about how well you can stand. And then you're going to go embarrass me? But anyways, guys, getting into Matt Jackson, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Not really feeling this head sculpt whatsoever. It just, I, I don't know. It's like, kind of like Orange Cassidy. He's got the bags under his eyes. I just don't see that with Matt Jackson when I look at Matt. He doesn't have those bags. I'll try to get them off. I'll try to do something to fix that. But this, like, mouth wide open head just doesn't look natural. It just kind of looks goofy or odd. I see the likeness to Matt Jackson, but I think his first head sculpt was much better better and uh, I may even take my extra Matt Jackson head sculpt and paint it to match the skin tone to put on this one. I do like that the hair's down you know from the match and everything and I like the way the facial hair looks but this expression is just kind of goofy for me but same torso he does have the white wrist tape right uh, you know white hand tape on the right side same exact belt same exact legs except I think his decal or his elite logo is actually on the right side so I think their patterns are mismatched so you guys can see on the left side of him on the left side of Matt you get the blue and gold and then on the the right side you get the white and blue and then it's the opposite for Nick back here so that's kind of what they got going on same tassels same boots and everything like I said it does rotate right there and everything but the tassels and everything are the exact same so I mean that pretty much does it for your Matt and Nick Jackson figures man I, I like the way they look a lot but next up guys we got to get into some comparisons with their series 1 AEW Unrivaled collection figures so for your young bucks figure comparisons guys we got to get into their series 1's figures we got the series 3 the series 1 up next to each other I am going to remove their jackets, but you guys can already see the skin tone difference here. How much paler, how much, you know, un unrealistic really these skin tones are right here, but I'm going to go ahead and plop off their jackets and take a better look. So there is a better shot there, guys, with the skin tones and everything like that, but I do want to go ahead and do the little torso swap deal so it's no longer going to be like we used to, you know? I mean, how hard would this be? We'd break the damn figure trying to do this with, uh, you know, WWE figures, but putting that on there and then plopping that in there and look Look how much better that looks, bro. That is absolutely insane. So there you go. There's that. And then if you want to see what this looks like on the new Series 3, that is what it would look like right there. So there's the comparison between the two. If you guys want to see, there's there's kind of one of each. So there's the switch for the two, and then there's that. And then uh, maybe I can pop this head sculpt off because, you know, you don't have to heat up their heads or anything. You can just pop their heads off. So there's the matte head sculpt, and then we can pop off the first Series and then plop this onto the new one. And obviously the skin tones aren't going to match. But if you guys wanted to do a repaint of that or, you know, this the skin doesn't bother you or whatever, which which it probably should. He definitely looks much more pale in the face. But there you go. That looks pretty good right there. Yeah, I like that head sculpt much better for Matt than this one. I mean, no doubt about it, to be honest with you. But let's go ahead and plop this on 
here just to see what it looks like. And then there's that. So yeah. Need to get more of the Series 3, bro, so we can, you know, do some torso swaps and head swaps and customization. I mean, dude, this is just the this is just the start. We're only three series in. Wait till we get more. Wait till they're more accessible. Wait till we get more characters and torso molds and stuff, man. The sky's gonna be the limit on how many things we can do creatively, switching parts and all of that good ish. But there is your Young Bucks comparisons between the two. But I do want to see what they look like up next to Cody and maybe some other figures. And here is the Young Bucks up next to Cody, Orange Cassidy, and Kenny Omega. So, looks pretty good. We don't have Adam Hangman Page in here just yet. Actually, I did actually receive my Adam Hangman Page. I got my Series 2, actually, just today, guys. So, there you go. There's the teaser for that. Let me know who you want to see first. I think we're going to do probably John Moxley and MJF first, and then we'll work our way down probably the probably the Lucha Bros next, or maybe Adam Hangman Page and Dustin. I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below, but we did get our AEW Series 2. I know John Moxley wants to go first, right? I mean, we got to see what that's about, see how he's going to fit in with the MDT live roster and everything, but here's the rest, guys. Young Bucks up next to Cassie. I like the way all these look. They all look great. The only thing we're missing from this set is a accurate skin tone Kenny Omega. Once we get that, man, it's over with, man. It's it's literally over with. I cannot wait to get a better skin tone for Kenny. Once we get that, I am just super excited to see what comes of that and how that looks, but that pretty much does it for your Young Buck figure comparison, so uh, yeah, let's move on. Damn it. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this AEW Series 3 Unrivaled Collection review on the brand new Matt and Nick Jackson Young Buck figures. I highly recommend them. I think they are better than their Series 1, even though Series 1 does come with the, you know, the two cloth jackets, and these jackets are really, really nice, but I love the attire better. I like that we're getting the tassels. You know, the Bucks are synonymous with their tassels. They have the updated skin tone and everything. Yeah, the head sculpts, you know, they're hit or miss. They'll get better. I think they will eventually get a lot better. Hey, just sit on him. How about that? Just, just, just poop on him chest. How about that? There you go. But anyways, guys, if you would like to grab these or pre-order these Young Buck figures, go over to Ringside Collectibles WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I apologize for this video not being up at 5 a.m., but I was up late last night watching the National Championship as the Alabama Crimson Tide brought home its 18th National Championship, so roll damn tide, Brad, from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. But overall, I really enjoy these figures, man. I think they're fantastic. I can't wait to use them on Vindication. They even look like Vindication. Look at those those attires. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out, which is going to go to my boy Rob right here. He says me, goes to take a sip of caffeine. Trey, he likes turtles. Me, suddenly having to clean up the Coke Zero across my breakfast table, and that is because, uh, if you guys missed the Darby Allen and Orange Cassidy review, Darby Allen looks like, like, that, like that kid from the interview from the 90s that says, I like turtles. So I had to mention that. But I appreciate Rob's comment. He's actually the one responsible for getting me my AEW Series 2, so I really, really appreciate that, Rob. You are absolute boss. But thank you guys for watching. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Would you guys rather see John Moxley's review tomorrow with something else, or would you rather see the ranking of AEW Series 3? Let me know down in the comment section below, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. We also are going to review Pac and Riho in that ranking video, so that's, that's, that's the case there. But before we get out of here, guys, don't ever forget, never cross the line. If you do, you might find your legs cut off. I guess you don't want your legs. You cross the line. I've been